similar in appearance to the German Shepherd, the Shiloh Shepherd is a reliable breed known for their intelligence, trainability, and affection. But chances are, you've never heard of the breed. After all, the Shiloh Shepherd hasn't been recognized by any major kennel clubs yet. Loyal, courageous, and confident, but not hostile, the Shiloh Shepherd makes a wonderful companion. If you want to learn more about this gigantic and cuddly dog, then you've come to the right place. In this video today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 interesting facts about the Shiloh Shepherd. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Shiloh owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Shiloh Shepherd is a relatively new crossbreed, still under development. Their history can be traced back to the mid to late 1970s in New York when a breeder named Tina Barber first began to breed these dogs. Tina noticed that some German Shepherds were hard for families to handle mainly for issues related to hip dysplasia and temperamental behaviors. So she set out to create a new breed similar in appearance to the German Shepherd but larger, gentler, and healthier. The resulting dog was the Shiloh Shepherd. The breed was developed with 14 of Tina's breeding stock German Shepherds and 6 unrelated dogs that consisted of 3 more German Shepherds, an Altdeutscher Safer Hund, a Czechoslovakian Volchek, and a triple mix of American Shoreline German Shepherd, White Shepherd, and Malamute. These 20 dogs were the foundation breeds for the Shiloh Shepherd. In the early 1990s, Tina Barber separated her breeding stock from the AKC and started to maintain registry records of the Shiloh Shepherds by herself. Shiloh Shepherds were recognized by the American Herding Breed Association in the year 2004. Today, there are multiple Shiloh clubs and registries. The breed is currently being managed by breed-specific registries including the International Shiloh Shepherd Alliance, the International Shiloh Shepherd Dog Club, and the International Shiloh Shepherd Registry. However, the breed is yet to be recognized by major kennel clubs such as the American Kennel Club and the Federation Sinologic International. Number 2. Their Appearance At a glance, the Shiloh Shepherd is quite similar to the German Shepherd in terms of appearance. However, there are a few factors that distinguish the breed from their German Shepherd cousin. After looking at a Shiloh Shepherd, the first thing you'd notice about these dogs would be their huge size. Males grow to heights of 28 to 32 inches and weigh anywhere between 100 and 140 pounds, whereas females can grow to heights of 26 to 30 inches and weigh anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds. Other than their size, their overall appearance is still rather heavy. Their back is broad, strong, and solid. The head is broad and noble, slightly domed, and in proportion to the body. Their width and length of the skull are approximately equal with a gently defined stop, strongly developed cheekbones, and a gradually tapering muzzle. Both the fore and hind legs are well muscled. The tail is long and thickly covered with dense hair hanging down like a plume. As for the coat, it comes in two different varieties, smooth and plush. The smooth coat features a shorter undercoat and a top coat with coarse, dense fur. Whereas the plush coat will have a longer, softer undercoat, thicker fur around the neck, and feathering on the legs and ears. The coat comes in solid colors including black, white, tan, golden, silver, red, brown, and dark gray. However, they can also be bicolored or sable. Silver-colored dogs are extremely rare, and to qualify as silver, the dog needs to have a pure white undercoat. Most of what people call a silver is actually what we call a gray sable or gray dual dog. Number 3. German Shepherd vs. Shiloh Shepherd as we mentioned before, the German Shepherd and Shiloh Shepherd are quite similar in appearance, but there are a few things that set these two breeds apart in terms of appearance. Shiloh Shepherds are much larger compared to their German Shepherd cousins. As we said before, male Shiloh Shepherds can grow to heights of 28 to 32 inches and weigh anywhere between 100 and 140 pounds, whereas female Shiloh Shepherds can grow to heights of 26 to 30 inches and weigh anywhere between 80 and 100 pounds. In comparison, German Shepherds have an average height of 22 to 26 inches. They typically weigh 75 to 95 pounds. Another subtle difference in the appearance between these two breeds is their back. Shiloh Shepherds have a level top line as compared to German Shepherds. After all, Shiloh Shepherds were bred to reduce issues pertaining to hip dysplasia. Shilohs are also more laid-back and docile compared to German Shepherds. However, this is not to say that these dogs have a lower protective instinct. The breed can get along well with children and other pets and may inhibit strong protective instincts similar to the German Shepherd. While they appear more laid-back, they'll still always be on the lookout for any potential threats, making them great watchdogs as well as guard dogs. And finally, the Shiloh Shepherds have longer coats, requiring more grooming as compared to German Shepherds. Number 4. Their Temperament Shiloh Shepherds were bred to be companion dogs, therefore, they have a calm and steady temperament. These dogs are friendly with most people and animals they meet. And with proper training and socialization, Shilohs grow up to be affectionate canines who love to be a part of all family activities. These dogs form close and strong bonds with their families and are naturally sensitive, which means they can easily pick up on their owner's mood. It is for this reason that these dogs are ideally used in therapy work too. 
The breed is tranquil and passive indoors, but definitely very affectionate. If you're looking for a big dog that'll happily snuggle up with you, then the Shiloh Shepherd could be the right choice for you. As with any breed, Shiloh puppies really like to bite anything and everyone, so supervision is needed when raising a puppy around children. With proper and sufficient socialization, they can also get along exceptionally well with other pets in the household. And similar to German Shepherds, these guys also have a strong protective instinct, but they're not hostile or aggressive at all. They're super intelligent, and they love the companionship of their family, which is why leaving them alone for long periods of time is probably a bad idea. Number 5. They are purebred dogs A lot of people misunderstand that Shilohs are purebred dogs, so they think that crossing a German Shepherd and an Alaskan Malamute would result in a Shiloh, but that's completely untrue. Since Shilohs have a genetically unique signature and have the DNA on the Phyloth Embark, Wisdom Panel, and UC Davis, they are considered purebred at this point in development, not a crossbreed. However, there has been an outcross in the breed's development, and it was a dog that had approximately 90% German Shepherd and 10% Sarplaninage. So the Sarplaninage is also a part of the Shiloh Shepherd's genetic makeup. Although Tina began her breeding program in the 1970s, the outcrosses to add new genetics didn't begin until the 1990s, which is when Shilohs were really born. American Rare Breed Association accepted Shiloh Shepherds in 1991. Number 6. Their Exercise Needs Despite their laid-back approach to life, the Shiloh Shepherd is a medium to high-energy dog that needs at least an hour of exercise a day. These dogs love strenuous activity, preferably combined with training of some kind, since they are very intelligent and crave a good challenge. They require a daily brisk long walk, and they're also up for other activities such as jogging, running, swimming, and even pulling sleds or carts. These guys need plenty of mental stimulation and exercise to keep themselves from being bored. Given their huge size, a large yard for them to run around in is ideal to keep your Shiloh happy and healthy. In addition to physical exercises, playing some interactive puzzle games will also mentally satisfy your Shiloh pup. Make sure that your dog gets enough physical and mental stimulation. If not, these guys can become restless and destructive, which may lead to chewed up furniture and holes all over the yard. Number 7. Their Trainability The Shiloh Shepherd is an intelligent dog breed and is therefore pretty easy to train. It's best that the training begins as soon as the pup is brought home. These dogs are intelligent and eager to please, so they'll learn new tricks in no time. This is also the reason why these dogs are suited for a first-time dog owner. However, it's also crucial to establish yourself as the leader when you're training them. Make sure you are firm and consistent in the training. Positive reinforcement training works best for these pups. And don't forget to praise and treat your Shiloh for a job well done. The breed is known for being very sociable and loving, but still, it's important that the pup receive socialization from a young age. Number 8. Their Grooming As we mentioned before, the Shiloh Shepherd's coat comes in two varieties, a smooth, short coat and a long, plush coat. Depending on your Shiloh's coat type, they might require more or less grooming. The longer coat will shed less, but requires more grooming, whereas the shorter coat sheds more, but doesn't need to be brushed as often. Both coat types, however, are double coats, meaning your Shiloh will fully shed their coat twice a year, and you will require a good vacuum cleaner. This also means that they're a bad choice for people with allergies. It's best that you brush your Shiloh's fur once every day, no matter the coat type. During spring and fall, when they blow their coat, it's a good idea to brush them twice a day. Bathing is only necessary when your Shiloh Shepherd gets too dirty or smelly. Other than that, make sure to check and clean their eyes and ears frequently. Brush their teeth daily if possible, if not, at least three to four times a week. And trim their nails once every month before they grow long and start clicking on the ground. Number 9. Their Health The Shiloh Shepherd is a relatively healthy breed with an average life expectancy of 10 to 12 years, with some stretching into 12 to 14 years. And although one of the reasons the Shiloh Shepherd was bred to eliminate some of the health problems the German Shepherd faces, unfortunately, like all dogs, the Shiloh Shepherd can still be prone to some health concerns. The breed is especially prone to health problems that commonly affect large dogs. Some of the health conditions to look out for in this breed include hip dysplasia and bloat. Yes, you heard that right, hip dysplasia. While the breed was developed to have healthier hips compared to that of German Shepherds, the risk of hip dysplasia isn't entirely eliminated. But thanks to the selective breeding of the healthiest German Shepherds and other breeds, most Shiloh Shepherds are generally healthy over their lifespan of 10 to 12 years. So it is important that you get your Shiloh pup from a reputable breeder who can show you the parents' health clearances. As long as the parents' health clearances are good, concern over hip dysplasia can be reduced to some extent. But no matter how healthy your pup may appear, make sure to visit the vet occasionally for health screening. This way, you can detect any health issues early on and take the necessary action to prevent or treat it. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition An ideal Shiloh Shepherd diet should be formulated for a large-sized breed with moderate to high energy. 
Depending on the individual, a Shiloh will need around 3 to 8 cups of food a day. Other factors such as pup's age, health, exercise level, and metabolism are also important factors determining how much food your dog needs to eat. Additionally, as with all dogs, your Shiloh's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change in their senior years. So if you're unsure how much you should feed your Shiloh pup, it's best to ask your vet or the beater for recommendations on the serving size. What is certain, however, is that meals should be fed across two separate sittings. After all, these dogs have a predisposition to bloat, so feeding them too much at once can be fatal and keep the treats to a minimum as the breed is also prone to weight gain. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Shiloh Shepherd. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these gentle giants, do let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts and different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.